Hey everyone, so I'm gonna try and make hopefully a quick and straight to the point video today. So I've been using the program Caliber that Matt talked about in his Kindle video to get like Japanese news and newspapers and put them on my Kindle. So I found this out because um, basically, you know, you can read the news on the website if you want to, or you can even download the apps, but they don't have any Japanese newspapers or any news that I've seen that have any sort of subscription service so you can use your Kindle to download it. So I have a Kindle and I wanted to read the news on it using my own dictionaries and obviously it has better screen for reading and also you can use clippings so you can highlight sentences and you can kind of send them to my clippings and then just put them on Anki real easy. So I looked into it and basically before the English um, news providers had their own subscriptions on Amazon's Kindle store, what people used to do is they used that program Calibre to download the news onto their device. So it's pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it. It's tricky if you don't know how to do it. So just be careful which information you're putting where because it took me a bit of time. I was making some mistakes when I started doing it. So what you're gonna wanna do is, get this up on the screen now. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get Caliber and on Caliber you can see there's this area called News Shutoku and Basically, that's what we're going to use. So if you click on it, it's got an N and just a big down arrow. You can see there's like every language, even Irish, they have a newspaper here. The problem with these links is you can go down and you can find Japanese here and you can find different links for like Yomiura Online and like Nikkei Business and routers. Um, the only one who works here is routers and I couldn't figure out why I thought maybe this program doesn't work What it actually is is the RS feeds of all those other ones have changed since they were put into this So this was probably made a long time ago and they haven't updated their RSS feed links So if you want to download routers, you can just do that But if you want to download a different web page, right, which for example, let's say Asahi Shimbun so let's go over here. Let's say we type in Asahi Shimbun in, is this up? Yeah, Asahi Shimbun. And if you go to their site, what you'll find is, well, what you'll find is their site is a mess and there's too much information to make sense of. But if you type in for example, RSS feed, okay, or just RSS, okay? Just type in RSS into their website. What you'll find is they have their own RSS feeds. So what you can do is, they have a lot of RSS feeds actually. So like, if you look at this, they've got like uh, the digital uh, Asahi Shimbun, like fast news. They've got a society page, sports, Olympics, uh, fashion, digital digital news 20 so yeah actually the digital one that might be a better one than using the fast news so for example the digital is going to be just 20 news stories and the fast one is going to be like you know shorter stories so let's say for example we want the sports one okay let's say you're interested in sports you want all the sports news what you can do is, this is the RSS feed. What we need is this URL at the top. So copy and paste that URL, and then go back to Calibre. This time, on the News Shutoku button, on the right side, there's like a little tab, a little down arrow. Click on that and go to custom, uh, customize news source, okay? And on this page, you can see at the bottom, it says add like new, recipe basically is what it says click on that it's got the green cross in the at the bottom part at the field url down there we want to put in copy and paste our rss feed url and then field title above that we want to put in a title so we can put asahi sports okay and then you have to name it so at the top here we've got to put recipe title we can put in again asahi sports okay so asahi sports and then just hose it, oh sorry, again green, 
what's that green plus sign add that so we've got to add that field so it's got the title it's got our url rss feed url there then we click hose on so like uh, save it and then that's all that we've got to do there then go back to the main button and then use shutoku click on that go to custom the first one there custom we can see there asahi sports okay and then suguni download we need to click that one so download now so that's doing now you can see at the bottom it says like job one and it's spinning so we just have to wait depending on how long it is depending on how many stories there are we'll see how long it takes to download let's have a look might take a bit of time ah okay it's done so then what you can do is if you double click on it it'll kind of open it up in a previewer and you can check because sometimes you know maybe you did something wrong or maybe some the formatting of the rss feed is wrong or something you can check it so first page acai sports it just always has this kind of old looking title page then it has acai sports i think maybe you can have like a few different rss feeds so like when i showed you like the title and then the field title and the rss feed and then you plus you added i think you can add a few if you wanted to uh then this is kind of the main articles menu so basically on your kindle this would show up and you can click on the title of an article and it will jump you to that article okay or you can just keep clicking and then you can just read through all the articles as they come up okay so this is what the articles will look like when you read them now you can just leave it like that. If you want to change the fonts or the font sizes, you can put it into Kindle Previewer and do that. It's up to you. I don't. What you can do then is, this looks fine. So what we'll do then is just connect up your Kindle. Let me have a look. Connect this up. Connect that. And then what you'll do is save this into the Documents folder. So this is saying, you know, this is like, do you want to automatically upload? Just, just an X out of that. Um, so you can see here, like disk knee holds on. So what we want to do is just hold on, just save it wherever you want to put it. So you want to save it in your documents. I just put a folder like Asahi Shimbun, Calibre. You don't even have to have Calibre, but whatever you want, just go, I can just save it here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where in your documents you save it okay and then it'll save it there and then that's it all you have to do is just unplug your kindle and then when you go into your kindle's main menu it'll be there so after that should be pretty simple just turn on your kindle and then here if you can see here it says new and it says asahi sports so i've got it here so just click on that and it'll come up and then you've got you know the book there and then you know it acts basically as a book first you might get like an article name and then it'll say like all articles you can like click on these and you can kind of see like a preview of the article there's no pictures with this so there's no pictures here but if you did download an rss feed where there's pictures it would be in the preview you can click on them um so you could just go to an article there's also like a main menu like i showed before then when you're in the article that's the article there so you got like the headline and stuff only one thing i want to say is highlighting sentences and highlighting words is a bit different from in books normally i find that in books you can just kind of put your finger over and it'll automatically do you notice if i do this here it'll just highlight like one kanji and like that's it you know it does it's not automatically highlighting the word just the one kanji so what i would do is drag and then it'll do it properly so just that's only one thing you really have to kind of drag for this one to get the dictionary um and then yeah you can just select whatever dictionary you want to use and it'll work fine you know so yeah that's about it so that's about it. I mean, you can do this with any RSS feed you can find. So if you want to download games, so for example, I 
downloaded before like four gamers I was just interested in seeing if it would work uh, this website that had all these articles you can download that I'm also going to put underneath just an article from how to geek explaining like how to get RSS feeds for websites because a lot of websites it can be hard to find their RSS feed and sometimes you might even have to create your own RSS feed so I'll link that below and then you know you can pretty much use this on any web source that has articles and just read them and take them with you so yeah I hope that helped and that's about it thanks very much